So just a quick analogy for you before we dive in here. Let's pretend for a second that you had a store downtown from where you live and you had the best, okay, the best banana bread that anybody could buy anywhere, okay, in the whole wide world, your banana bread was the best. Not only was your banana bread the best, but your marketing of your banana bread was also spot on amazing and everybody wanted to get your banana bread. Now let's say that your store, the only place where you're selling it, you don't have a door or any way for customers to get inside of your store, okay? How many sales do you make if you do not have an entrance to your business? The answer is zero sales because you don't have a way for people to get into your business. Now, in a nutshell, that's the analogy, kind of goofy way of saying it, but a landing page is like the doorway or the entrance into your business. Now, typically, the most common landing page is a lead capture page. Now, the purpose of a lead capture page is to get somebody's contact information. Okay, the other kind of landing page that's super popular is a sales page. So that's where you're not even trying to get their contact information, you're just going straight for the sale. You want to use a lead capture page when you're looking to acquire new people into your business and into your audience. You are going to use a sales page when you already have an existing audience or you're getting traffic from other people that already have existing audiences to make sales. So first of all, if you're just getting started and you wanna build your first dollars online, your main focus at first should be on a lead capture page. Now the good news here guys, this might be a kind of a simple lesson for you, but I'm gonna give you guys some options on best ways to create your lead capture page. There's really two things that you need to be good at in order to have a good lead capture page. First one is design. And I've got some good news for you guys because there are some platforms that give you done for you templates. And that's what I would look for is to edit a done for you template, okay? Chances are you're not gonna create your own custom one from scratch. You're gonna wanna find a template and then edit that template, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys the different options of stuff that I've seen uh, that works for, for that, okay? Now, other than the design, the second thing you're gonna want is good copywriting, okay? Now, copywriting is actually the marketing or the sales, whatever hook, whatever text that you use that convinces people that they want to enter their email address. Now, there is no perfect formula for copywriting, but I'm gonna share with you guys some simple copywriting headlines that you can use that have worked for me and uh, I'll talk about places you can go to get done for you templates. Now, the most popular option is ClickFunnels. I have a link to ClickFunnels in the video description. It is, of course, an affiliate link. It comes with a free trial, so if you wanna check it out and you do decide to become a customer of ClickFunnels, I am going to earn an affiliate commission for that. Uh, that being said, ClickFunnels is expensive, so uh, a lot of you guys are not gonna wanna get ClickFunnels, and I'm gonna share with you guys some other alternatives you can get uh, if you're not ready to dive into the very serious solution of ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels is a good option. There's a lot of people that say really positive things about ClickFunnels and a lot of people that talk crap about ClickFunnels. The people that don't like ClickFunnels, they just don't like the price because <laughs> the price of ClickFunnels is at its cheapest, $97 per month and $297 per month for the premium subscription, which is the one I have but most people just need the 97 and then that's what people don't like about it. Now, as far as ClickFunnels goes, they give you templates. So if you hover over ClickFunnels, uh, I'm gonna click on Funnels. I'll show you guys how many different landing pages I've created in my business. It's gonna it's probably blow you away. So this is all of the landing pages I've clicked with, uh, created with ClickFunnels over the last few years. If you guys take a look here, you can see actually each and every single one of these is a full on funnel. So inside each of these things is a bunch of more pages uh, and landing pages in my business as well. So if I actually added up all of my pages, it is, well, it's still calculating, but it's a lot. <laughs> I have lots and lots of landing pages, lots and lots of different pages 
in my business. So landing pages are something that I create all the time. Basically, I click on this add new button and I just click the classic funnel builder. I don't know, just by habit. I don't know if there's a, a good one that's a different one. I'm gonna click on uh, collect emails and I'm gonna put in lead capture page demo. Okay, we're gonna click on build funnel. And the next thing we're gonna be taken to here is the templates. Now I'm gonna pick one of these templates with you guys and then I'm gonna go in and edit the template and show you guys some ideas of what you can do for copywriting. It's gonna take some time to load up, so I'm gonna run this in the background and just talk about uh, what typically people offer on a lead capture page. So typically people do what's known as an ethical bribe. So what an ethical bribe means is that to collect the lead, you're, giving so you're promising something to give something away for free. So when they talk about the ebook cover squeeze, what they're really saying is, that landing page is gonna promise somebody a free ebook if they opt in. So you're giving them a free gift in exchange for their email address, typically. So we're gonna do a free gift for an email address. Now this is a cool option and this is the way that most people, most marketers have been doing it for years. They offer an, what's known as an ethical bribe. They give a, a free gift in order to get the email address. Now. A better strategy, in my personal opinion, is to have really good copy that pre-sells an offer, okay? Some kind of curiosity curiosity headline that causes them, like forces them to have to enter their email address to figure out what you're talking about. But the curiosity-based headline is going to pre-sell the offer that you're gonna send them to after they opt in. Okay. Now, the reason why I like this, guys, is because when you give away a free gift, there's different ways you can monetize it after the fact or whatever, but generally, you're paying money for the traffic or whatever, and you're getting no money back right away. You have to rely on getting the money back later. Okay. In my example, where you're pre-selling an offer, you're collecting the lead and you're also making money right away as well, hopefully, which means that the money that you spend on the traffic, you can recoup, okay, with the money you make off the offer and then you're getting email addresses for free. And if you're able to get into a situation where you're collecting leads and making your money back at the same time, well, now you can basically build as big of an email list as you want because Every time you put money into your lead capture page, you get the money back from the offer, then you can just kind of recycle, do that over and over and over again. You're building up your audience basically for free. Now, I'm a huge fan of Warrior Plus, as you guys probably know, I've been on Warrior Plus. All my products are listed on Warrior Plus. I've been on Warrior Plus for years. It's kind of my, my favorite thing, and I promote different things on here, uh, different products that I find are of good value. I recommend them to, to my audience. Put a link to Warrior Plus in the video description as well. Once you get your account, you hover over affiliate that's on the top bar here and click on offers. And if you sort the offers by sales, that's gonna give you a look at the best selling offers of all time. One that converts really well for solo ad traffic, and I know a few of my marketing buddies that use you know, their landing pages and acquiring customers, they use it with this offer. It's called the loss code. Of course, it is my product, so take that with a grain of salt. But I do know a guy named James Fawcett, Mark Barrett, a few other of those guys, where they are creating landing pages with this strategy of pre-selling the loss code. So we're gonna take a look at the loss code and then we're gonna create a landing page that pre-sells the loss code as an example. Again, you can do this with any offer you want. It doesn't have to be just the lost code, okay? And uh, okay, so here on the headline for the lost code, uh, the main headline is turn $13 into 476 D273 per week with the lost code, okay? So now when we're creating our landing page, the best thing you can do is make your landing page congruent to the offer that you're sending people to. We want to make it so that our landing page is gonna pre-sell the sales page and it's also going to match the sales page. So we wouldn't wanna create a landing page where we say, hey, enter your email address 
and learn how I'm making $2,000 per week because that wouldn't be congruent to this page. So the more that we match them up, honestly, is, is the better, okay? So we're gonna pick one of these landing pages. I just wanna see one that I like. Uh, I kind of think this one looks okay. Let me take a look at the preview here. I'm gonna select this one for now. I wanna make this headline something to do with the lost code that matches up and it pre-sells the lost code. One thing that I've found that really has worked for me is simple two-step formula makes, and then we want to copy this same amount here. So let me put in here. So simple two-step formula makes $4,762.73 per week. This is weird, but it works. All right, so this is an example headline that I've used in the past in my business that's worked really well. Uh, basically, the reason why it works is when I say simple two-step formula, it's creating curiosity right off the bat. Because when you think, when I say there's two steps to it, you think, first of all, one thing, it's probably easy because it doesn't have that many steps. And the second thing that you think about is, what the heck are the two steps, okay? So you're creating curiosity with your visitor coming to this page. Uh, then when you say for, uh, makes 47, 62, 73 per week, well, in this case, you're sharing them the exact benefit that they're looking for, the reason why they would be interested because people, of course, are interested in making money online. So you're just showing them the money, but also importantly, you're matching what you are promising on the pre-sale page to what they are actually going to see on the sales page that they are then taken to after they enter their email address uh, into, your, into your form. So you're actually making it congruent to the offer that you are pre-selling. And then when I say this is weird, but it works, Again, I'm really, really, really harping on the curiosity angle. Now, one of the best pieces of advice that I can give you guys when it comes to lead capture pages is the more curiosity that you create in your lead capture page, the higher generally the, the opt-in rate, the amount of people that are going to give you their lead because they're so curious about what you are even talking about. Now, what this is called in marketing is called let me get my word doc out here. It's called an open loop. Okay. And this is huge. Okay. This is one of the biggest secrets that I use in my business all the time. So an open loop means basically incomplete information and TV shows do this all the time. One of the TV shows that was really huge about this, but there's been a lot of them is lost and lost. They would basically take you, they'd give you all these open loops in the show that would make you keep watching the series because you wanted to get a resolution to the incomplete information that you were fed, okay? Now, in our psychology, we do not like the unknown or having incomplete information. So anytime we're given incomplete information, it's, it really wants us to know what the, you know, what the information actually is. And it doesn't even matter. It could be something totally dumb. Like I could have a coin right now. I could flip the coin and I can say it's head or tails. And I'd be like, do you want to know whether it's head or tails? If you stick around for five seconds, I'll tell you whether it's head or tails. And a lot of people would need to stick around for that five seconds because they would need to complete that information. That's the reason why we're afraid of the dark. It's the reason why we're afraid of death. That's the reason why we're afraid of anything that we don't understand because we want to know the answer to things. So in marketing, people abuse this. Marketers abuse this all the time. Uh, by using open loops, okay? By creating, inc by providing incomplete information that people need to complete your step in order to get the, the, the rest of the inf information, okay? So if I created something like this, obviously I'd have to change the graphics around. Uh, I'd have to change, you know, some things here, whatever. I get rid of this image. Maybe I'd put a different image in there. Maybe I wouldn't have an image there at all. Uh, you know, lots of times the simpler the landing page, the better. I know this is kind of a weird thing, but I've found that, let me just get rid of this bar up here too. I've found that the more that you put on a landing page, lots of times conversions can go down. So lots of times the more simple the landing page, the better. Um, so if I get rid of all this stuff, now I have a very simple, uh, simple landing page. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that. 
All right, let me just do this. And we'll put the padding out here. 150. Yes. So anyway, something like that. So now we have something super simple. This is something that we're now going to be able to test. Okay. So now that once we've created our landing page, we have a curiosity based headline. Um, you know, if you're thinking about what copy to do and you're not going to just steal my copy, you're going to think, you know, which I don't have a problem with. You can, if you want, but if you're going to come up with your own copy, your own headline that you're going to put for your landing page, keep in mind the major benefits that people always want. They want things to be easy because people don't want to do the diet. They want to take the diet pill. Basically, they always want the easiest. They're like water. People always want the easiest solution and the easiest path to whatever result they want to get. So they want it easy. They want it to be fast. They don't want it to take very long and they want to make money. So if you're doing a make money online kind of headline, if you can get in that, it's going to be easy, that it's going to be fast and that they're going to make money in the headline. Generally, you're going to do pretty well just off of that alone. And then you can embellish, have some interesting words in there stuff too. But you can see here, simple two-step formula. So I said that it's easy. 4,700 bucks, so they know that there's money involved. And per week, uh, kind of has the fast angle, but you know, I, I could maybe in the, in the sub headline here, talk about getting fast results or something like that uh, there as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is once we have our landing page, we gotta think about how we're gonna actually get traffic to this landing page. And you have a number of different options. One of the easiest ways to get traffic is with solo ads. Now, solo ads, there's a website for this called Udemy, and I'm gonna put that link in the description as well. Here, you're gonna find a bunch of solo ad sellers, but here's a tip on how to get cheaper traffic from solo ads if that's what you wanna use. Uh, you can actually find a lot of these guys on Facebook. So if we take a look here, this Matija Balantic as an example. So if I go to Facebook and I look up Matija Belantic. Okay. I can actually find this exact dude that's being sold in the markets, the solo marketplace. I can find him on Facebook. Now the cool thing here is on Udemy, he's charging 40 cents per click, right? But if I talk to him on Facebook, I can say, Hey man, uh, you know, I just want to test out your traffic. I just want a hundred clicks. I want to see how it works with my offer. Will you sell this to me for, you know, will you sell my first run for 35 cents per click or 30 cents per click or whatever? Now, I'm not saying Matija is good or bad. I haven't tested him in a really long time. I don't know. Uh, there are two solo ad sellers that I've, you know, been hearing from my people that are doing this with solo ads. One of them is Mark Hayden. And the other one is Wayne Crow. And both of these guys, I'm going to put their profiles in the YouTube description here. So you have two silhouette sellers that I know are generating really good results right now. Now, how do I know these guys actually generate really good results? Well, if I go to the affiliate contest I'm currently in called Phoenix, I'm currently in second place for this affiliate contest, which is a $3,000 affiliate contest. And I'm losing right now to Wayne Crow as an example. Now, the reason why this is good, uh, good news, if you can see somebody like this doing really good, it, it means that Wayne can actually deliver sales. And when you buy solo ads, you wanna see solo ad sellers that can make money other than just selling solo ads. Because if their only income source is selling solo ads, there's a good chance that their traffic does not buy stuff and they're just looking to make money off of you by selling the traffic because they know the traffic doesn't generate any sales. Uh, Wayne Crow and Mark Hayden, they don't charge the cheapest price, but they do have um, better quality traffic from what I've heard. Now I'm sending you straight to their profile. I'm not making any money off of this recommendation of these two sellers. There's no compensation for me. They didn't ask me to do this. Uh, I'm just telling you this because um, that's the recommendation that I heard from James Fawcett, who was doing the strategy. He recommended those two guys, and I do believe that that is the case, that those guys are good. The cool thing about solo ads is that they're super easy. Anybody can do it. You literally just negotiate the amount of traffic and the price, and then that's it, and you're good to go. Uh, so they're very, they're extremely easy, no hassle, 
and cheap. You can get as much as as cheap as 30 cents per click. I think Wayne, Wayne and Mark charge about 50 cents per click. I think they charge higher than that unless you negotiate, which I always recommend. But you can say, hey, I watched Brennan's YouTube video and he let me know and spilled the beans that you will do a discount to 50 cents. Um, so please give me that discount because I watched that video and I, and I know that, that you will sell for as low as 50 cents. So whatever they're gonna try and charge you for, know that you can ask for that 50 cents. Anyways, solo ads are cheap, they're easy, they're no hassle. Um, and then the downside is, is that there is a lot of crappy solo ad sellers that sell junk traffic. So anytime you're using somebody new for the first time, always buy smaller traffic packages like 100 clicks, negotiate, ask for the best price possible to test their traffic and promise to order bigger quantities if the traffic actually converts. Because once you find a seller that actually converts, then you're willing to spend more money for more traffic because you know you're gonna be getting a return, a positive return on your investment. Now, other than solo ad traffic, there is a million other traffic sources. There's Facebook ads, there's Google AdWords, there's JV traffic, there's organic, you know, influencer traffic, you know, you create a YouTube channel or a blog and get free traffic. So influencer free traffic. There's also the option where you could contact somebody who's an influencer. I wouldn't do this, but some influencers would and say, Hey, I will give you this much money to gen like send an email or generate clicks to, to my audience. So there's a million different things. There's Instagram ads. One of my friends the other day said he was running Reddit ads. So literally almost every website on the internet has, you know, some kind of advertising that's being served on it. And you can get your ads put on basically anywhere on so many different platforms. The one thing you want to keep in mind is if you're going to get Facebook ad traffic or Google AdWords traffic or any of this traffic, make sure that your page is actually compliant. So for example, with Facebook ads, if I wanted to run this landing page to Facebook ads, um, I'd have to think about how to be compliant for that platform. So Facebook is really picky about make money online stuff. So I wouldn't be able to get away with this kind of a, a headline. And I'll share with you guys the landing page that I use for Facebook ads. And, um, and then I'd also have to have a disclaimer down here, uh, some kind of like the Facebook ads disclaimer. I think you're saying that this, this page is not a product or affiliated with Facebook or something like that. So you need to actually have the disclaimer that allows you to be compliant with whatever traffic source or network that you are actually using. So let me share with you guys the page that I'm using for Facebook ads. All right, so this is on a platform called Convertry. Convertry is very similar to ClickFunnels. It's also $97 per month. The disadvantage of Convertry is they have less templates, I believe. Uh, the advantage of Convertry is that the pages load super fast. So you can see this just basically loads instantly. Uh, and ClickFunnels pages, they load at a normal speed. So they don't load super fast, but they don't usually load super slow either. Uh, Convertry's main selling point is they have fast loading pages. Anyways, I have lots of different stuff, guys. I have Convertry, I have ClickFunnels, I have other stuff as well. So I have a lot of this different stuff because I try different pages in my business. I like to see the different templates that are out there and all that, those kind of things. But these are the two main ones that I use, ClickFunnels and Convertry. Now this is my, my page that I'm using for Facebook ads right now. And basically I'm doing like giveaway events. So what I'm doing is I'm promising to give away a like 15 free copies of a product, which I do on this giveaway call. And then for anyone who doesn't win that giveaway event and win one of those free copies, then I do a demo of the product and I offer it up for sale for anyone who didn't win a free copy. Okay. And I give them the times that they start and everything. It's very professional. Uh, at the end, you can see this is the Facebook ads disclaimer. This site is not a part of the Facebook website, Facebook Inc. Additionally, this site is not endorsed by Facebook in any way. Uh, I just got cut off, I think, because filming for my DSLR and it has a, a restriction on how long you can record for. So I am back. That also means this must be a really long video, which I'm gonna find out when I splice these together. Uh, so apologize that this one's kind of rambled on guys, but let's go back to what I was talking about here. You can see the disclaimer, the Facebook, this is not a part of Facebook website, Facebook Inc, etc., cetera. Um, and all this other incomes and earnings, whatever disclaimer. So I've actually made this page compliant for Facebook ads. 
Uh, and so I could not create a page like this and serve it up to AdWords or Facebook ads. If you're creating a page like this, you have to use, uh, like we showed on the video today, you have to use something like solo ads or buying traffic from an influencer. You need to do something like that, media buys. Uh, if you're going to use AdWords, Facebook ads, that kind of stuff, then you need to create a really clean professional page like I have here. There's lots of different ways to do it. Usually you're sacrificing the opt-in uh, opt rate when you're doing this, but it allows you to serve ads on those, on those big major platforms with tons of traffic available. And uh, sometimes opt-in rates aren't the number one thing you should be looking for. It depends on what your strategy is, okay? It depends what your strategy is. So for people that have stuck around for this long, I uh, wanted to quickly show you guys an alternative that you can use to not have to pay monthly fees with ClickFunnels or Convertery. There is a tool called Profit Builder, and it's a WordPress plugin that I've used, and it has it's a one-time payment. There's no monthly fees, and they have really cool templates in there. Some of their templates I actually like even better than and ClickFunnels in some ways. And again, it doesn't have any monthly fees, so that's a really good option. Also, me and my business partner are creating something similar to Profit Builder ourselves, which is not going to be a WordPress plugin. Uh, we don't think, I hope not anyways, uh, unless it has to be. But we're gonna be creating our own solution with our own templates that we're using in our business that may or may not be available as you're watching this video. You can take a look in the video description. Probably it's gonna be saying coming soon there because we are in development of that product because we wanna serve something high quality that people can get that they don't have to pay monthly fees for. Now, if you do want the best professional solution, um, the best professional solution that basically most marketers are using is something like ClickFunnels or Convertry. Of course, ClickFunnels, the link is gonna be in the description as well. But like I said, guys, it is an expensive solution, so you can find cheaper options, um, like one-time payment options, no monthly fees, that stuff as well. In one way or another, you need to find a way to create even just one landing page for your business. You don't necessarily need to have you know dozens and dozens of different landing pages. If you just have one landing page, you can make a ton of money off of that. And I'll show you guys an example of that. If we go into my Warrior Plus account and I go to affiliates here and I click on my affiliate stats and I look at my affiliate stats for the year to date, you can see one of my top affiliates is gonna call it JNA Unlimited, I think. That's the James Fawcett guy I was talking about. He created one landing page, pre-selling the lost code, which I shared with you guys in this video, and almost all of the money that he's generated as an affiliate to our offers has been with that one landing page that he created. So you can see JNA Unlimited, so far year to date has generated $178,000 in revenue. And he's done all of that with just one landing page that he created with ClickFunnels and pre-selling the lost code. And he bought a crap ton of solo ads and he makes about $4 for every $1 that he spends with solo ads with that simple strategy. Very similar to what we covered in this video. Now I know this one's gone over time guys. So I don't really know what else to tell you. I would say you do need a landing page for your business. Uh, there's lots of different options, lots of different programs out there. The premium one is ClickFunnels. Profit Builder is another really premium one that's a one-time payment. There's probably some free solutions out there as well. You can even get someone maybe on Fiverr to create you one. But I would recommend having some kind of editor where you can edit it yourself and you can make it you know, better, but you can make the tweaks. Because if you find the landing page doesn't work, you deliver a little bit of traffic. You can try a little bit of traffic from these other different sources. And then if that doesn't work, then you can also try tweaking the headline, tweaking the look of the page, and just doing these tweaks over time. Eventually, you're gonna have that one landing page that does give you a good opt-in rate, give you good conversions. And that's really all that you need. You just really need one doorway into your business in one way or another. Now, that's the end of the video, guys. Sorry that I rambled on this one. This is really hard to have like a precise do this, do this, do this for the landing page thing. You have a lot of flexibility here, but it is something that you need for your business. I hope you really enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in episode three in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.